to see you. Welcome back to episode 12 of the Tabletop Tavern. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Jenny. I will be your dungeon master for this campaign. Uh, I will allow my wonderful players to introduce themselves, beginning with the effervescent, the beautiful, the talented Victoria Shaz. Hello, everyone. My name is Victoria, and I play Leon LaBelle. Hi, my name is Ryan, and I play Galen. And I'm Pippin, and I play Ariadne and Kailte. And our lovely Adoa Deer will be back next week. Unfortunately, she is held up at work. Uh, but do not worry, Gris will return. She's not dead yet. Uh, so yeah, we're going to start <laughs> this <Michael>. episode. <laughs> Sorry, guys. So ominous. <laughs> Panic. <laughs> We're going to start this episode the way we start every episode with a little uh, review of what you missed, if you missed it, or if you don't remember. Uh, last episode on the Tabletop Tavern, our heroes, if you can call them that, found themselves in the stronghold of the Brigade in Aquara, facing down with Galen's former right-hand man, Strike. Uh, after a long and arduous battle, uh, Galen found himself once again the leader of the gang, but owing his new friends a debt of gratitude he left uh b bofkin to fill his role until his return from hell's portal as promised b led the ship the party to a ship so that they could use to seek their fates and after a tearful goodbye the party set sail for the volcano as they sailed away Galen's mother appeared on the docks, upright for the first time in months, and appeared to say something to the party, though whatever she did say was lost to the sound of the wind in the sails. That brings us to this episode. Uh, as you sail out of the harbor and the port shrinks in the distance, the sun begins to rise. The party, still, you know, on board, um are still dressed in their burnt and bloodstained clothing, and you're all fairly quiet. Uh, Galen, at the helm, brow furrowed, uh, keeps his eyes focused in front of him, as if looking back to the fading pink dot on the docks, uh, is physically painful. Leon, on deck, uh, leans against the boat's railing, eyes trained on the water deep in thought. Gris, emerging from the ship's galley, triumphantly shows Ariadne an armful of various salted fish, hard cheeses, and dried fruits and mushrooms. Ari, similarly proud, holds up a stack of parchment pilfered from the captain's quarters. Um, soon after presenting the party with uh, kind of a makeshift meal, Gris goes pale, and Ari, ever concerned for their friend, escorts her to the captain's quarters, where she, in a typical motherly fashion, shoes Ari away, assuring them she is capable <laughs> of recovering from this particularly violent bout of seasickness on her own. Which leaves you uh, on the boat together. Leon has um, kind of walked over to where the food is, which I presume, like, Gris has kind of just left. Yes. wherever she put it um leon kind of walks over um she grabs a little piece of cheese and just um kind of walks back over to where she was standing at the side of the boat um and uh just starts to to nibble on the cheese and uh about how far away is ari ari you have now exited the captain's quarters yeah so you are going to be standing there. sort of behind leo leon's gonna be about 20 feet away from you with the food sort okay. of in between you on the deck mm -hmm. so as leon is kind of uh leaning on the boat uh she looks at ari and says she she gets really seasick huh like really seasick seems like it huh and uh, I, I'm, I'm now walking towards her. She says she's gonna be fine. She can recover on her own. I think the sooner we stop this boat is probably the better for her. 
Leo nods and uh, is like, I wonder. And she kind of looks in the direction that they're currently sailing to whatever level of comprehension that she has. Um, just kind of following the horizon, hoping desperately that she sees something. Um, but I'm sure she doesn't because this is the beginning of the trek. Um, and she looks back at Art and says, I wonder how long this is going to take. Um, and then Leon kind of gets quiet again and, and takes a nibble. And how far away is Galen? So Galen is going to be above you, probably about 20 feet in front of you, and then about seven to ten feet above you, you sort of have to walk up a flight of steps to, to reach the, the helm. Uh, Leon says, um, and looks at Ari, and says, you should probably you should probably go and talk to Gail and figure out how long this is going to take and let him know what's going on with, with Gris. And, yeah, uh, I suppose so. That sounds like your next step uh plan going event. ahead can i at least get a bite first uh or, or do i have your permission to get a bite first <laughs> and i say it like chuckling to like pick on her leon um leon doesn't have the the level of like joy and and like like kind of like chattiness that she she usually has today um and she just kind of goes like she you could tell she's trying to like keep it up um but she kind of goes oh yeah definitely can i tell um, as she walks up the stairs perception check yeah. all right that's 15 plus 5 20 oh yeah you can tell leon is um she seems sort of almost distracted like and it's it's not in the typical manner in which you've you've seen Leon distracted. This almost strikes you like she's listening to a different conversation, like she's talking to you, but she's also trying to listen to someone else. Okay, um, having noticed this, I go, I just like take take a deep breath and I like look at her for a second, try to see if she comes back or not, but um, and then just go. Hey, I mean, not that I don't like a less chatty Leon, but is everything all right? Um, Leon is halfway up the stairs at this point. And she kind of half turns to I'm Ari. I'm walking with you, yeah, but... Oh, okay. She kind of half turns to Ari um, and goes, Um, I think I should let you and Galen know at the same time. And then keeps walking. Okay, I just go, fair enough. I like, stop for a second, like, fair enough, it's up to you. <laughs> Uh, and just keep going with pull, like taking a nibble of what I grabbed. What did you grab? This is important. Uh, uh I should I know what was on there. Just you just said fish, so I just grabbed so you a grabbed handful, some salted yeah. fish. All right, enjoy yeah. your salted fish. I just I'm I will trying enjoy to my salted fish. Set so trying scene. to set the scene. No, yeah, I got yeah. you. I was like, I didn't know if there were a specific kind of fish. We've had this conversation. It was boob fish. <laughs> is it river fish? Is it ocean is it, fish? As far as we I know, know it is a point. sea fish. Yes, it's a sea okay. fish. Okay. We're it is a, I, I, sorry, DM. I, I, God, I'll be specific. I, I have a salted sea fish in my hand. Mm, okay, delicious. So you are both ascending the stairs to see Galen. Galen, yeah. you're currently driving the boat. Uh as your friends Hi. approach. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Is... <laughs> Leon kind of looks at Galen and is like, that was an awfully polite hello. Well, don't get used to it, Leon. And then he kind of like throws his hair back <laughs> and like lets it like flow in the breeze. <laughs> I just <laughs> Leon looks to Ari and goes, yeah. oh, so he's insufferable when he's on the water. Okay. Oh, I don't think so. I thought he was quite nice. He taught me how to how to do this, remember? Would you like to try again? I'm and I hold no. up the fish. I'm a little busy. Can I finish this first? Got it. And I take um, another. <laughs> so Leon puts her hands together. Um which I think is kind of becoming her thing when she's trying to get everyone to like Okay, we well, gotta talk about important things, friends. Um, so Leon puts her hands right. together and. What is it you have to tell me? Distance. 
Um, well, first of all, um, I want to ask you about, about how long you think this trek is going to take. Um, what are your thoughts, comments? How are you feeling about the situation? Also, Gris is very sick. Again, seasick. Um, so she's in the I captain's quarters. Can. In case you wanted to sleep, you can't. I, and I, at, at Galen's again, I just go, I mean, she is very small, Galen. She's so small. Fair point. Okay. Uh, as far as uh, when we'll get there. Three days. Three days. <laughs> <laughs> Leon kind of nods her head and is like, wow. So it's it's far. Okay. Um, goodness. What is this trek like? Have you done this trek before, Galen? No. Have you, have you been to Hell's Portal? No. Why would I go to Hell's Portal? No. I, I turn to Leon and I think, I don't exactly think Ooh, it's right? a tourist attraction. <laughs> okay. I didn't know that. Um, and Leona's like, okay, do you know anyone who's been to Hell's Portal? Has anyone talked about it at any point? Is there anything no. we should know? <laughs> I didn't even know this existed until the past couple months. Galen, roll a history check. <laughs> God. <laughs> Wait, I, I can see the ocean. Can I roll with advantage? Yes, you can roll with advantage. <laughs> Local fish himbo doesn't ten. know the volcano they've been living around for the last life. <laughs> so, well, it's a three day. It's a three day trek. Like, is that on the horizon line? So you cannot. You, you, you have not been to Hell's Portal. However, you are very familiar with maps of this particular swath of ocean. And so although you have not run this course before, you have essentially memorized um, much of this for your own nefarious purposes. So you, you've never seen the volcano. You know it should exist at the end of the chain of islands. And you know about how many islands there are and um, are able to use sort of natural instinct to know your general position in the ocean in general okay yes all right well so you know how like uh the islands are kind of in a line sort of leon's like i mean yeah i saw the map like once but yeah oh, okay. you want to see it again i mean i have it you have the map I do. That'd be very helpful. Would you mind? Well, yeah, yeah and I'm like, okay. This so one take it out of my bag, and I go. I hand it to Galen, but I go, please be careful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Galen kind of like rustles it open. And then <laughs> I'm just like, <laughs> he like holds Leon's it open like this way. She knows. She knows. <laughs> he holds it open like facing them. Like okay. Like, like a, I mean, like a... really careful. <laughs> right, sorry. <laughs> and he he points to the islands and is like, right here, right? This is around where we are. It's yes, at understood. the end of this little chain here. Okay. Uh, I've okay. known the course and how to get there, but I've never been there. Fair enough. Okay. How dangerous is it, Galen? I mean, it's called Hell's Portal. <laughs> I just, yeah, I just go out, like, point again. Okay, Galen, okay, Galen, I meant the trek. Oh, okay. There. I mean, we're out in open waters. There's bound to be some something lurking in the depths, and Galen kind of goes like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> at, the, at this, I just was like, I realizes they're on open wa open water near no solid ground and just kind of goes like oh no <laughs> this is I, I have never not been very close to solid ground <laughs> just cuz like oh um how hmm how deep is this just looks concerned over <laughs> the horizons i don't think anybody knows I'm like, I know you're doing this on purpose, Galen. 
And I just go, yeah. Okay. This whole time, okay, cool, Leon cool, is cool, just cool, staring cool, out cool, at the horizon. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, so Galen and <laughs> and Ari are having this sort of exchange, and Leon, meanwhile, you are mm. zoning out in the direction of the horizon absolutely zoned out in the direction that we're heading like wherever the horizon is in the direction we're heading leon is all right so just you... staring not really paying attention to the others doing her own thing you were staring mm -hmm. to the east okay sweet all right would you like um, to pilot the boat sure at this point I'm, I'm sure i've pretty much finished but i like look around for somewhere to put it <laughs> We only kind of snaps out of it at this point and is like, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Why no, no. not? Welcome Ari. back, Leon. <laughs> Gail is the only one who knows these waters. I think it's safest. However much, I think it's fantastic that you're learning how to sail. She pauses. I think it would be best if Galen does it this time. This okay. is I, I kind of I, I, I pout a little bit, but I go... Can we do it on the way back? If it's safe. <laughs> what I would prefer, maybe, is we let Galen do it, and then, like, when it's less dangerous, maybe, like, a lake somewhere. Right? Safe. And I look down at the boat, and I'm like, In and clothes. how do you <laughs> presume to get it? Not I this knew. boat, Ari. <laughs> Leo is like, <laughs> not this boat. Another boat <laughs> on a lake. <laughs> Galen kind of just chuckled to himself hearing this. <laughs> um, Leon kind of zones out again and pauses and takes a deep breath and says, Okay. Uh, I should probably let you guys know this. Um, and she, she looks at Ari and Galen. Mm. She says, you know the dreams I was having? Yes. I. Um, and Leon kind of looks at him when he says I. <laughs> like, <laughs> what? No. You Don't mean the ones it. that were kind of, uh, portents of doom? Yeah, those? I hope I hope you're not going to say you've had more of them. It's not that I'm having the dreams. Um I can hear the voice right now. The hmm. the same voice from the dreams. It's fine. I just wanted to let you all know. That doesn't sound fine. That doesn't fine. sound fine. I think it's fine. I I, I really, I really don't think it's fine. Obviously, you don't think it's fine since you told us. I just wanted to let you know that it's existing. That it's barely there. It's barely there. Absolutely barely there. Like, it's like a whisper. I don't- but It's I the same voices in my dreams. At, I always try to, like, process. I'm like, I somehow don't think- Hearing a voice other than your own is fine. I mean, I get it. Me too. Sometimes I have a thought and like, it's not what I expected. <laughs> One thought. <laughs> <laughs> Who is my voice, Leon? Right. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't keep a straight face today. I'm sorry, I gotta pull myself together <laughs> after that one. <laughs> Sometimes I have a thought. <laughs> sorry. <clears throat> Anyways. <clears throat> you know, kind of looks at Ari. And says, uh, I mean, who are we to say that this isn't just an extension of my own voice? Right? It's been in dreams. And now it's just vibing in my head. This, um, this it, is these yeah. are the the voices and the dreams that that caused you to walk into a room on your own, read scary writing, and be in a trance. The 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 dreams that like are, are that you're the heir to to to, to the bad things. And she's always getting all flustered. 
And I'm just like, and, and, <laughs> I'm like, somehow, I'm, why am I mo more concerned about this than you are? Um, Leon Leon's says, eyes are kind of just like darting back and forth <laughs> between the two. Leon says, a voice isn't bad, Ari. It's not bad. I'm not How afraid. Do you it's fine. know? I can't describe it. I just know. I just know. And I go. It means we're going the right way. It means we're doing the right thing. Okay. And at that, I back off, and I'm just like, "Very well. At the very least, if you're gonna go into a fugue, could you give me some notice next time?" <laughs> Leon kind of looks at Arya and is like. <laughs> If I can <laughs> predetermine when I'm going to go into a fugue, Ari, <laughs> don't you think I'd try to not go into the fugue? <laughs> and like tilt her head and is like, but I'll try my best for you. I'll do the best I can. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, is the voice saying anything to you? Um... No. Nothing in particular. It's... Is it just that you can't understand it, or...? No, it's just... Nothing in particular. Uh, um... If it's... If it's talking to you, and it's... Above a, a, a whisper, even a whisper, and you can understand it, how is it saying nothing in particular? It's just telling me that my fate's coming. That's what it's saying. My fate is coming. Does... Oh. Ari, that sounds... Ominous. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. nods and is like... And, and here's... Yeah, but the voice yeah. isn't scary. She's like trying to convince them, like, the voice isn't scary. It's... It's kind, it's, it, it's, you know, it's loving. I would even call it loving. I'm not afraid of it. There's nothing that makes me scared of it. You know, I'm like scared okay. of everything. Okay. I'm not, I'm not scared of it. It, I, it's, it's kind. It's, I it's will, not bad. I will, I, I go and I'm like, believe her a little bit right so i'm gonna go and say like uh, I'm, <laughs> okay i am skeptical but i'm gonna you know i i will grant you that you none of us know enough to know it's intense i would urge your skepticism Um, Leon, um, because if your, if your fate is coming to you and we are going somewhere dangerous, somehow those that, listen, I know I'm not good at math, but that doesn't matter. <laughs> I would, um, Leon, Leon is going to say, I will... I'll I'll be skeptical, Ari. Thank you. It's all that's all that's all, that, all I wanted. Yeah. Leon. Yeah. yeah. Are you sincere in that promise? No, I'm gonna roll deception. Alright, roll for deception. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even gonna bother. Ari, what's your passive perception? Um fifteen. Galen, what's your passive perception? 14. Leon, what did you roll? Um, I rolled an 8 plus 9, which is 17. Ari, Leon is listening to you. She actually has taken your advice to heart, despite the fact that she's clearly been judgmental of you in the past. And uh, it, it means Good. a lot to you. It actually does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 
So yeah, I I just go I like I I squeeze her her arm a bit for a second, and I'm just like, okay, thank you. I just like sigh, oh, exasperated, and I'm just like, okay, I can, I, we did it. <laughs> I, <see. laughs> I, I successfully um, had Leon listen to me in my in what I think, <laughs> right? Right. Yeah. Um, Galen just kind of mumbles under his breath. I wonder if she drank scurva or had some wonder caps when we were <laughs> and, is, and like starts like picking his teeth Leon looks at him is your head not on the wheel? he's like I didn't even drink when you all were drinking I haven't had any wonder caps Galen we don't know <laughs> your personal where would I even Leon? find those in a quara I wasn't out of anyone's sight for more mm -hmm. than like 30 seconds when I was seducing some guard Hey. And she kind of flips her hair and is like, which, by the way, nailed it. Gotta say. We did so mm. well. I gotta say, we all did so well. We really, we really, I'm glad we handled that horrible strike individual. And I'm really glad I got to set his mustache on fire. That, that was <laughs> That was incredible. nice. I think B appreciated that, that one. I agree, Ari. I feel like her and I were just on the same page with that was not the line that was going to fly. And it was time to set that on fire, you know? Mm -hmm. It was time. Although, Galen, and Leon looks at Galen uh -oh. and is like, I think you being hungover affected your performance. He got, and I wave, I wave, I'm just like, he got there eventually. Eventually being the operative term, Ari. It was fine. I, it was fine. I stabbed him tons. It was fine. So uh, how's Gris doing? <laughs> She's probably asleep. <laughs> Leon looks at Galen and cocks her eyebrow and is like, I bet you'd like to change the subject. <laughs> I, I would. Um, Leon casts message really quickly. Oh, no. Um, and Galen hears a voice in his head. <laughs> and uh, Leon says, "Does Ari know about your mom?" Gala just shakes his head. Leon cast message again, and and says, Are "Time you passes going to... as they do this, right?" So now every time they've done this, I just look between them and I'm just like, <laughs> what I just like look somewhere else, and I'm just like, <sighs> "Ari, you saw you we saw a head tell shake." Them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but I'm like, time is passing, and they're talking to each other, and not to me. So I'm just like, <laughs> okay, eating your fish. <laughs> no, I finished. I'm now now just holding it because I don't have any more to just throw it. <laughs> just it's just toss it overboard. Fish skeleton in Ari's hands, <laughs> and a whole ocean. Ari hasn't had that idea yet, right? <laughs> oh, sorry. sorry. Um. So Leon says you should probably tell them. Do you want me to? leave you two alone do you not want to tell them I just I feel like they should probably know it's up to you though uh well I don't see any harm in it when I mean you can stay or you can leave it, do it doesn't matter to me Leo just kind of looks at Galen <laughs> Jugen is like I'm asking you what you would prefer you think what would you prefer remember that whole conversation we had we had <laughs> Galen of rolls his eyes and is just like fine <laughs> you can stay here okay <laughs> <laughs> Leon like kind of leans against the banister and just like looks at Galen and is like upon hey. doing this uh, up upon seeing them cut like Leon shift position I go you'll done <laughs> Leon <laughs> laughs <laughs> I'm like that was a good thirty oh seconds of conversation that I'm just like, <laughs> oh my god, Leon is chuckling and is like, yeah, yeah, we are. Oh, I'm I'm glad I'm so glad. Yeah. Ari, there's something I need to tell you. Oh, I, I turned again. I'm just like, what? Uh, have I told you about my father yet? Yeah, I told you he sucks. <laughs> right. You did say that. Yeah. Um, well, he's dead. Oh. And my mother is dying. 
and she was in Aquara. She stayed in the same inn that we stayed at. And whenever I would go upstairs, I would be going upstairs to check on her to make sure she was okay. And B was taking care of her along with a life cleric, which I don't know how she found one on the underdeck, but... I was like, I, I was actually wondering about that. I, <laughs> I feel like that's not necessarily like the. And I like, I, I just like stare at Leon for a second, and I walk up to him, and I'm just like, I'm really sorry about your dad. Do you want to turn this boat around? It's a little late for that, but thank you. D did the life cleric help? From what I could tell, yeah, maybe. Leon kind of looks at Galen in disbelief and is like, your mom was standing when we were leaving. And I turn oh. to Leon, that was her? I, Yeah, I think so. I didn't actually see her, I'm assuming. I'm going out on a limb here that the person with the life cleric by B that was walking was And I turn back mom. to Galen, I'm like, was that her? I believe it was, but that was the first time I had seen her stand in the entire time I was there. That's so something good, Something must be helping. Exactly. Yeah, and I makes fun, and I'm like, okay, well, like, this is That's a good thing. Leon looks at and Ari and nods. And, yeah. And is like, yeah. you're allowed I, to celebrate that, Galen. Yeah. And I turn back, and I'm like, and she's got B to take care of her, which... Who else could you ask for? You're right. It just doesn't feel right to me for some reason. Like what do you mean? Something is scary. I feel res or... I feel responsible for her being in that bed. Why would that be? Because I left her alone and I was the only person she had left. And the Leon next looks thing at... I know, she's bedridden. It Leon doesn't feel right celebrating that. And says... I understand... more than you know... Um, about that kind of feeling. But... your mother... is her own person. And... Looking back on something that already happened, Galen, looking back on the past and wondering whether a different decision could have changed something, that's only going to cause pain now. So I think you're allowed to celebrate when something good happens because you can't change the things that you've already done. You can only I'm not, yeah. and and change... The things that you do in the future. So I nod along to Leon and I interrupt and I go, and I can't tell you if it's true or not. If you leaving hurt her, but it seems you coming back helped. Exactly. Without question. You're allowed to celebrate this. You've got to stop beating yourself up all the time. Maybe that's why you're so like. And to make them chuckle, I just go at that. I just go also stop letting other people beat you up. <laughs> like look around. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Leon points <laughs> Ari and it's like exactly, exactly. And Leon just kind of looks at Galen, waiting for a response. Galen just smirks and says, "I, I guess you're right." and then uh, sort of just turns his attention to the horizon and mm -hmm. um, just says, I, I guess I have a lot to think about. <laughs> I, yeah, I like uh, and, and nod and then I go by him and I, I'll look wherever he's looking and first of all, I'm like, I don't see anything to myself. <laughs> like, I don't know what this man is looking at. <laughs> but then I go... The last thing I want is 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 uh, to 
and like I'm mumbling to him. I'm like, the last thing I want is to bring Leon's ire down on us. So just just know that the sentiment was to offer you a drink, but maybe later. <laughs> Can I hear that? Ari, are you making an, an effort to lower your yeah. voice? Okay, so can you roll Deception and Leon, what's your passive perception? Um, um, uh, uh, 11? Jesus. Not working. Fuck, that's low. Holy shit. Ooh, I got 18, which minus 117. Alright, Leon, you do not have to clock well. this. No shit. <laughs> With a passive perception at eleven, damn! It's a wonder I clocked. Even my negative one fuck. didn't. Yeah. Galen just looks at no, Ari. No, no, it and... doesn't affect the passive. <laughs> <laughs> Galen just looks at Ari and just mumbles back, "I really appreciate it." And I, I look back and I'm like, "And you know where it is in my bag?" So, <laughs> and chuckle. Yeah, and this this is at normal chuckle. volume, so that Leon could probably hear. <laughs> I was gonna say, can Leon at least clock that they're having a conversation she's not included in? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. She knows how um, it feels now. Once Ari says the, oh exactly, yeah. <laughs> the last thing that that Ari Besides, like you know when, when Ari says bag. something that Leon, can hear. yeah, um, I want Leon to kind of chuckle and just be like, I kind of feel shitty. It feels bad, eh? <laughs> and I turn, yeah, and I turn back and I'm like, oh, oh does God. it? Just not being included. And I like, I, I mock, I'm like, mock being mean, but like not to actually hurt her, but yeah. to be like, oh, does it? Does it feel bad to not be included? Oh, I wonder how that must feel. And I turn back to Galen, like smiling. Leon yeah, casts message back. as a response and says, yes, yes, it does. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> she does it once for each of them. Okay. For the record. Night. <laughs> Sorry, Galen, what were you gonna say? Galen was just smiling back at Ari. Yeah. I turn back and go like, well, at least I appreciate that you told us about the dreams this time around. I would I wouldn't have liked to hear it from the fucking fish. <laughs> Leon <laughs> fucking fish. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Oh, that's good. Um, Leon kind of goes, yeah, I mean, like, it would be nice if it had stayed in the dreams. It was far less distracting when it was when I was sleeping. And Leon kind of like zones out again. Like every time she's not having conversation, mm -hmm. Leon's kind of zoning out a little bit. Yeah. So <sighs> These conversations sort of peter out. Um, Leon, you sort of travel back down the stairs and, and take a seat on, on one of the steps and sort of um, once again find yourself uh, overwhelmed by everything that's going on in, in your head. Um, Ari, you pull out a flask and you um, you sort of lean against the railing and and watch some seabirds sort mm -hmm. of circle I also above. asked for the map back and show him where it is in my bag. Oh, good, good. Galen returns. I, I like, I fold it up very carefully and I like tuck it back into my parchment scroll and I'm like, okay, <laughs> I'm good now. Um, by the way, you have extra parchment now. Um, so I do. I'm going to make a note of that. So <laughs> you all sort of um, fall back into this sort of lull in the conversation, um, Galen steers the ship aptly, um, skirting around reefs and um, the shallows that surround other smaller islands that, that you begin to pass. Um, they're further away from Aquara than than you expected, but they there's many more of them than expected as well. Um, black rocks start to dot the shores of, of the islands you pass. Um, a testament to the volcanic heritage of, of the knives. Uh, the midday sun beats down on the deck and the sky is a cloudless blue. Galen, can I get a perception check, please? You sure can. You get advantage because you can see the ocean. <laughs> Actually, this isn't even going to be a perception check. Can I get a... Uh, uh, no perception but with advantage you're right yeah okay <laughs> yeah 
I was gonna have something else, but it's fine. Fourteen plus four, eighteen. Perfect. All right, so um, Galen, you are steering the ship, and it dawns on you that the water about five hundred feet ahead of you is completely still, completely flat. It's like a mirror to the sky. Mm, don't um, like that. There are no further land masses on the horizon either. The islands, which have been frequent, and from your knowledge of maps of the area should be frequent, stop short with the one on your right. Um, you remove a compass from your pocket um, to check your heading, and although you are sure that you can never be lost on the ocean, this, co this compass does very little, little to provide you comfort, as it's sort of... Um, spins the needle is spinning aggressively unable to find north um you know the map of these waters like the back of your hand and uh after this island should be four more all visible followed by um a lot of sort of volcanic reefs leading to the volcano at, at the end of this sort of line of islands um you also can sense that the water ahead of you is exceptionally deep. Um, you had told Ariadne earlier, or Leon, that there is no way to tell how deep the water was. However, um, you can usually sort of sense a little bit about the ocean that surrounds you. This time, you cannot sense any sort of bottom. It should be shallow due to your proximity to the island next to you. Um, and littered with sharp volcanic rocks, which you had planned to steer around. However, this flat expanse of water has no such thing. Can I get the other two to roll perception checks? Yeah. This is fucking terrifying. Bad. <laughs> 10 plus Jenny, 5, 15. do I have to roll with what you told me? Yes. Um, oh, me okay. too. Uh, no, no, no. You're, you're good, Ari. Oh. Ari, um... Uh... Your eyes oh, those... are not focused on Sorry. the water in front of you. Uh, instead, you, desperate to be off the open ocean, are concentrated on the island to your right. Cool. Um, you can see a shoreline uh, covered in white sand and a few small huts along the shore. Uh, which should actually feel inviting. However, mm -hmm. the smoke that rises from the hut's chimneys sends an odd and you think maybe misplaced shiver down your spine. Mm. No, no. Um, I literally just did the two best rolls of my life back to back. Nice. So that was 18 plus 1, 19. Leon, normally you would be incredibly perceptive. However... Damn. Yeah. When you try to focus, all you can hear over the sound of the ocean, which around your boat is still moving, but in front of you is flat, is a man's voice. Yeah. And although it is whispering, it is the loudest you have ever heard, and all it is saying is, You are loved. You are wanted. I cannot wait to meet you. Um, Leon kind of stands up and walks up the stairs and looks to the other two mm -hmm. and says, okay, what's going on? Uh... Do you see anything weird about this water? I go, nah, but something about those huts is, uh, not sin, right? Leon looks to the water and then looks to the huts and is like, I have, I have no insight here. Um, and, and she kind of <laughs> just shuffles and says, what's wrong with the water? So we're in a ship, right? We're, right. we're moving through the water? Yes. Yes. 
look ahead. The water is just completely still. Okay. Can we avoid it? I... I don't know what's going on. The water is completely still. I can't... You're, tell really you're get telling a me feel this is not of... a normal occurrence. You're telling me we no. should be concerned. Yes, we should be concerned. And especially well. because normally I can sort of sense how deep a body of water is, but right now where we are, I cannot feel or sense a bottom. I, this. Uh, Ari probably goes a little pale and just goes, Galen, Galen, you're. I'm you're dead doing this serious. on purpose again. You're doing this on purpose again, right? I'm I'm dead serious, Ari. This is <laughs> like, bad. Edge closer to like a uh, railing or the baluster or something, and just go like. <laughs> this is not normal. Does Leon remember the map that she looked at? The map of like yeah of the water like twenty minutes ago. Mm, yeah. Wait. And Rule can she tell? Check. Yeah, I was gonna say, can she tell that there are supposed to be islands past here? Roll a roll a history check. Oh, that was a nat twenty, and then a ten plus five, fifteen. Okay, the fifteen you can still remember it. I know. Okay. Oh, okay. That's good. Okay. Um, here I am sitting here like I got a nat twenty the second time ever, and I don't even get to use it. Um. <laughs> Leon kind of looks out to the water and is like, aren't there supposed to be more islands, too? Yeah. What I mean, I, I just, I go, I just, I just figured they were pretty big. We, I'm, you're telling, there's, they're meant to be more, not just that one, and I point to the one with the huts. Right, not just that one. They're supposed to be at least Well, four where did more. they go, Galen? I don't know, Ari. I'm just as concerned as you are. Leon, roll a magic check, like an arcana check. Yes. Okay. What are you arcana checking? The water? I'm I'm arcana checking. I'd like to arcana check the water, the lack of islands, and the huts. I want to arcana check it all. That's gonna be three separate checks. Okay. Oh, so I need to roll six times then. Yes. Okay. Um, oh okay. God. Um, okay. <laughs> Hold up. I'm gonna do the water first. Okay, so that's 13 plus 5, 18 this for is the water. This the where you play it at 1.25 speed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, and then for the islands, that is 5 plus 5, 10. And then for the huts, I'm trying to do this as fast as possible, everyone. That is, um, uh, uh, oh my god, 10 plus 5, 15. Okay, so we're gonna group all the islands together and use that 10. Just okay. for my own brain's functioning mm -hmm, power. That's fine. I said 3, I should that's have fine. said 3. Um, so we're gonna start with the 18. It's okay. Um, right. you actually can sense something uh ever since you were taught the sort of basics of necromancy from this voice uh it has sort of bolstered your ability to sense living creatures mm. the water in front of you is from what you can tell teeming with life um okay it's hard to tell whether it's many small um life energies or one exceptionally large one that you sense but whatever these these lives are is deeply magical okay um the islands you're not really sure um you sort of feel like maybe the map that that lily had was old it could be wrong god knows where she got it um you do think that those sandy beaches look magically inviting, if anything, and the huts seem sort of magically inviting as well. It it doesn't there's nothing mm -hmm. that you can sense from the boat that is wrong. Okay. With with the island to your right. Mm, or okay. the islands being gone. Okay. 
Leon kind of puts her hands together and is like, okay. So. Yes. There's something alive in the water over there. Well, I expect there's many things alive it's in the water. It's the ocean. No, 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 no. Leon's like, no, 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 no. No. It's, there's, there's, in that dead spot, that spot that you pointed out, there's, it's very alive. I don't know how to describe it. Other, I, the dreams taught me necromancy, and now I can sense life sometimes. It's like a thing. It's When you learn necromancy, it's a thing you can do, okay? So, uh, there's some life in that dead space. And uh, I don't know if it's, like, something big. I don't know if it's lots of little things. I, I can't tell you what it is. I just know that that dead space of water where nothing is moving, there's something in there. Um... Wait, also, do we know about the spell? I thought maybe only Gris did. Only Gris did. Leon just, uh, in her frenzied Yeah, so I just go, You- You learned the voice taught you a necromancy spell! You wanna reel that back Ro in? Roll hey. it back, yeah, take- walk it back several paces. Leon stops for a second and is like, Right, okay. Well, I mean, like, I was talking to Gris about it just yesterday. Um, not, like, like, the- the night- The night before we, like, like, fought Strike? Uh, the voice taught me a necromancy spell. But, like, I already knew necromancy spells. It just taught me a different necromancy spell. Like, I already knew a necromancy spell. But I learned another yeah, the, necromancy spell. Yeah, the, the face palm, the eye roll, the, like, oh, gosh. That's the... I think Caitlin and Ari are, like, in sync. <laughs> Leona's like, that's not... That's not the priority. Like, it taught, it's fine. It's normal. It's probably just knowledge that I had lodged back there and then that the dreams just brought forward. It's fine. Um, don't think, uh, I look around as again and I'm like, don't think this is the last we're hearing about this. But also, <laughs> the, the, the thing, um, and I'm like, are we still moving towards it? I. Slowly. Okay. I was gonna say, I'm I like, feel like we're probably we are, in bullet time to discuss. Yeah, I'm like, we are, I, so I go, yeah, like, I'm like, don't think we're not talking about this later. Hmm. But we are slowly I mean, fine, crawling yeah. towards this very alive, according to you, dead spot. And I just, mm -hmm. can we do something about it? Well, Leon kind of shrugs and looks to Galen and is like, it kind of seems like we have two options right now we either what try to avoid the dead spot and, and go over it or we go to the and skirt around the island and Ari didn't you say something was wrong with the island I just think it's I got nothing for you all about the island the beaches look nice yeah they exactly they look inviting too inviting perhaps And it's just like, I, Galen, what do you I just shake my head and I'm like, I uh, just turn the air. I'm just like, I don't like either of the, these options. Well, for one, there's a couple of the islands missing. That, yeah, that's So like, we're not going to go we that way. And it's like, I, which way? We're not going to go towards the islands, considering that there's some missing. I don't know how they went missing, okay. but I do How'd not. How do you lose landmass? I... <laughs> Galen's just exasperated it can, it and just is like. Spell? I mean, Leon looks at Galen and says, Listen, is a disappearing island as bad as whatever's in there? And she gestures to the dead water. I mean, whatever. To me, it, it is... feels like the island makes more sense as the decision to take us to. Uh, uh, the dead water, the deepness. What if the boat goes down? At least if we're near the island. The, if the boat goes down, we're not going to drown. Like I, I'm, I'm really concerned about this dead water. I'm concerned about the life that I can sense in there. It's very alive, and mm -hmm. I just I'm wanted worried to go that and go, and yeah, and go like I'm not confident in my abilities to stab things in the water. Oh, that's a good point. Okay, but 
we need to I'm sorry, Jen. There's a possibility that whatever's in that dead spot is responsible for the missing islands. Right. And if it ate islands, do we think it'll spare us? I mean, there's there, there's no way to know. We're in like kind of a rush, aren't we? I think we should I reiterate. I think I think I can stab things better on solid ground. I think we should avoid I think we should avoid the dead spot. I think we should try to skirt past the island. Okay, that might add time to our journey, but if you really think that that it's going to take 3 days anyways. And I, yeah, I just look between them and I, six. Yeah. It might take even longer. But if you want to go that way, we can go that way. Um, I would like to clarify something. Yeah. All of the water ahead of you is flat. The options oh. are to sail through this flat expanse of water, or to anchor mm. at the island, perhaps seek some medical care for Gris, and answers as to why the water is flat. Oh, then that's what we should do. Nah, I, I, I just, I just like grumble and go. Do you know what'll short? Do you, uh, do you know what'll add to our time getting there? Being dead. And also, I really need to get there. So I think, I think, I think we should go to the island. I think we should go to the island. I just put my hands up. I'm leaving that up to both of you. I don't feel great about it. I don't feel great about any of this, honestly. All right, we'll go to the island. All right. We'll Ultimately, go to the island. Up to you, you're steering. That's true. Galen, you do have final say. Are you going to turn the boat to anchor at the island, or are you going to charge into the flat water against your party's wishes? Uh, I'm gonna... Galen's gonna anchor at the island because he does at least want to see if people on the... if anybody's actually on the island can... Uh, help Gris as well as provide answers. Okay. Alright. So. So I'll just whip around Fast and Furious style real fast. <laughs> parallel park this shit and anchor. Let's go. Do we have to hang on? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Roll an athletics check. Oh, fucking Christ. Galen, you're good. You've got a firm grip on the steering wheel here. <laughs> That one. Oh my it's god. plus four, but Why? it's still a, it's, it's still, still a crit fail. one, yeah. Mine's uh twelve minus one eleven. Oh, Ari. As Galen whips the ship as fast as he can, uh he might even throw down an anchor to like really uh or you know, like cast some kind of really yeah, like water leverage. spell to I'll like cast gust of wind to just fucking oh. just yeet. <laughs> Ari send, send the shit forward. <laughs> you go sailing off the deck. Uh, luckily, you land where the water is still choppy, not flat. Can you... Um, I'm going to need you to roll an athletic saving throw. Okay. So strength, right? Yes. It's just, yeah. Yeah. No, I was just double checking with my G. Oh god, this won't roll! And you have to roll that with disadvantage because I believe we've determined you can't fucking swim. Yeah. Alright, that is... Aw, oh, damn. Okay, 11 plus 4. 15. You've managed to stay afloat, but uh, you're stranded until a better swimmer can come rescue you. Yeah. Leon looks at Galen and says... <laughs> I I'll just get them. I'll scream get in them. anger. I'm just like, get I'll them! get them. I'll get them. And okay. Galen kind of like okay. mocks Leon's hand motions. Like, I'll get them. Okay. I'll get them. Okay. It'll be I, okay. But I okay. also scream up, you're going to let go of the wheel? And Galen just like hawks his eyebrow at Leon. Like, I'm shredding water. Do, do you got this? Do we need to hold on to the wheel at this point? Uh, yeah, he hasn't anchored it or, uh, you know, like, brought the, the sails down. Leon, like, gingerly places her hand on the wheel and is like, 
I don't need to move, right? Strength check. There, right? Strength, Strength check. check. Oh, and I have to roll with what you told me, don't I? Yes, you do. <laughs> and I already have negative one. Oh, no. Oh, this is bad. This you is bad. threw me into the water. <laughs> All right. Well, um, that's an eight. Oh, Leon. Uh, Galen, so have you left the ship yet? Or are you sort of making sure Leon's capable of keeping the... Uh... I'm making sure Leon's capable because last thing I want is essentially what is my ship just sailing off into the distance. <laughs> I'm going to need a uh, dexterity saving throw from you. Okay. <sighs> How far away am I from the boat? Can I make any effort to... No. 23. <laughs> All right. You lunge forward and grab the steering wheel as it sort of like spins out of control in Leon's hand and... Uh, now you're just holding the steering wheel, staring at her. <laughs> um, Leon looks at Galen and is like, I never told you that I was strong. You also didn't tell me I needed to be strong in order to steer a boat, Galen. I figured that was self-explanatory. Um, can you do that mage hand thing? Does that work? <laughs> Does that work, Jenny? Me. Yes. You can use Mage Hand. Okay. Leon casts Mage Hand and puts the Mage Hand on the wheel to steady it. She's like standing like 10 feet away from the wheel <laughs> as if she's holding it because Mage Hand does what her hand does with the Mage Hand on the wheel. Like, I can't fucking believe this. So <laughs> Ari is <laughs> about 20 feet away from the boat. However, Ari, there is a current that is pulling you towards the flat area of water the longer you Shit. have to tread. Okay. All right. Galen just fucking dives off the edge of the ship towards Ari and is like getting ready to swim over to them. And Can I make any effort to also swim to Galen? Yes. We're going to let you use that 15 to swim towards Galen. Galen, okay. uh, let's have a athletics check with double advantage because you are in the ocean. In the water. My shirt is also off, by the way. Plus, yeah, I bet. Plus for inspiration. inspiration. <laughs> then he's like, what have I done? <laughs> I am delighted. I, this is like the best sequence of events that's happened so far in this campaign. I don't know what you're talking about. That's a it's 20. Yeah. Yeah. It's a 20? Yeah. Fuck. All right, so you grab... Ari with one arm and incredibly easily swim them okay. back to the boat. Uh, you are now tasked with um, how the hell are you going to get back up to the boat? I can climb. Perfect. Ari, you also yeah, so can climb? Yeah, so can I. I can also climb. Uh, roll for it. Let's do... That's going to be yeah. athletics. Athletics? Okay. That's... 14 plus 4, 18. Perfect. That is 20. <laughs> oh my god. All right, so you both kind of scurry up the side of the ship to uh, see Leon standing on deck, uh, just holding the boat in place. Uh, and Hold I'm, it. I am, yeah. Hold it there, and then Galen runs over and takes down the sails, and then Ari, I'll need like... your help with this, and points to I... the anchor hold. I'm it's just like standing to... there like a wet cat, <laughs> glaring at him, <laughs> and I stomp on over to wherever he's telling me, but I grumble, all you had, like, as I'm walking, right, uh, all you had to do was say, hold on. Hey, you're alive, aren't you? <laughs> all right, you are. Great. So, I, what, I, what do you need me to do? We're we're rotating, like, a, a thing to lower the anchor. Cool. I do believe the term is shaft, just in case. Shaft, was yeah. Wondering. We're rotating the uh -oh. shaft. Okay, so I get I get to the shaft and I just like, you're alive, you're alive, aren't you? You're alive, and I get ready to push. <sighs> All right, so uh, let's get a strength check from both of you. For the record, Leon is feeling very proud of herself. <laughs> she doesn't do shit like this. That's uh, a. That number is a nine. Boat. eighteen. Nine plus four, thirteen. All right, so you guys toss the anchor over, uh, over the edge, 
sort of unceremoniously and uh, turn your attention to a rowboat, which can be easily lowered into the water to bring you to shore. Uh, would you like to leave Gris on board, maybe, and potentially bring someone out to help her? Would you like to bring her with you? Uh, I can, think I'm, the... I'm, can I go ask her? Yeah, you could go ask her. Uh, I just, yeah, I just uh, like go like, uh, I don't know what the plan is. I'm gonna go check on Gris. All right. Uh, um, you arrive in the captain's quarters, and Gris is how, yeah. Past how does she look? Out. Um, she's sort of still pale, um, and visibly sweaty, but she she is asleep quite soundly. Okay. I just I just try to perceive how she's doing. That was all. Um. Uh. So I try and can I try and just jostle her awake? Yes. Very gently. Um. So you reach over and you jostle Gris, and she sort of opens her eyes briefly, and she goes, Oh, Ari. I'm so tired. Oh, yeah. Mm. So I figured... Um, okay, so I just looked down at Gris, and I'm like, I think I'm realizing that maybe she's not in great shape. And I just go, oh I, th- mm. oh, I think we're gonna get... I think you just stay... Oh, we're gonna get you some help. And I just, like, pat her mm. and tuck her back in. She sort of closes like, her eyes again and then goes... That's nice, dear. And falls back asleep. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, Chris. Um, I, I, out of, out of my pack, I just want to fish out a couple of, uh, of like peppermint and all the herbs we gave her the first time to help, and just put them on a nightstander next to her or something. I'm just like, if she wakes up, she'll know what to do with these. <laughs> As you exit the room, yeah, you hear her. Softly in her sleep, mumble. Reese, I miss you so much. <gasps> I have to take a second, and I'm standing there at the doorway. I'm just like, take a second before I continue onwards, and I'm just like, I'm having an emotion. My daughter. <laughs> daughter. I decide I. Ha- that's why I decide I have to have the emotion fully before I go back. I can't. They can't see me have an emotion. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, but I have the emotion, and then I continue up the up the stairs. Um, Leon's standing with her hand out, not touching the wheel, but mimicking Mage Hand, which is touching the wheel. Mm-hmm. Um, calls down to Galen and goes, "Can I let go of this thing yet?" No. <laughs> oh my god! Um, seeing. <laughs> And Galen's like lowering the rowboat. <laughs> Seeing this interaction, I I turn to the I like look between them. I turn to the both of them. I turn to Leon and I go, Chris is a. Uh, uh, she's she'll be fine, but she's not in great shape. Uh, okay. I think she should stay in bed. Um, so maybe we get someone to come instead. Leon nods at Ari and calls, "Yeah, for sure." I mean, like, whenever I can let go of this. Ari, would you mind getting in the rowboat, please? <laughs> sure. And I, like, walk over. We all let go. <laughs> <laughs> she knows. Like, I fucking can't. She lets and go. I, and I, and I, I, I look at Leon and hand. I'm like... And I'm like, Galen didn't say you could. What if you <laughs> tripped us over again? Galen jokingly goes like... <laughs> if, it, if that at all rocks the boat rocks the rowboat i like hold on to the the things and i'm like if you throw me over again i will punch you <laughs> and i look up at him. um leon walks down the stairs to the rowboat and uh takes a step into the rowboat all right um are you all going to uh get in this rowboat and and have it lowered to shore Yes. All right, so uh, Galen, you very easily um, sort of winch, winch the rowboat down and uh, take the oars and uh, row your, your party uh, to the island's shore. Um, I, I hold myself like a little over and I'm like wringing water, salt water out of my hair and my clothes, just like, <laughs> like it very obviously glaring at Galen. Leon looks at Ari and is like, are you okay? 
Oh, I'm fine. I'm alive. I'm alive. Yeah. I'm <laughs> just ringing it out and looking at him. But are you okay? Uh, and I look at him like, I'm cold. Okay. Um, I'm wondering. It's bad oh, idea. no. Don't use fire on the wooden rowboat. Don't do this. No, 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 Don't no, 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 no. I can. Do not use digi- fire no, on me. No, prestidigitation can, can warm um warm. a non living material for one hour. Can I warm Ari's shirt? <laughs> it's a tropical island, so they will be hot once they dry off. Yeah. Okay, I won't then. Um, kind of be nice. Mm-hmm. I, I appreciate the thought. So Leon goes okay. <laughs> Leon, no, I'm really you... just making a big deal of it to, to yeah, get on. Yeah, it's for the dramatics. Yeah. Galen, uh, you sort of uh, mind your own business as as the two interact, chuckling to yourself a little bit because it is a little funny. Um, <laughs> and you uh, you manage to land the boat on this beach. Um, you all sort of gingerly disembark, finding that uh, your sea legs have taken over a little. So you're you're a little unsteady. However, um, the sand beneath your feet, uh, for those of you who are wearing foot wraps, which I think is only Ari, yeah, um, is warm and soft and pure white. Um, you can hear songbirds somewhere. It sounds like maybe a, a whole flock of them. Um, greeting you with a sweet melody um you are about a hundred feet from one of the huts and before you can do much the door to the hut opens um and several women more than should fit in in the hut um spill out they are all exceptionally beautiful um, Uh-oh. potentially the most radiant women you have all ever seen. Um, and of a whole myriad of, of really, uh, fantasy races here, we have quite a few humans, um, some elves, some of, appear to be of the elusive sea elves, and some are even, uh, Galen and Ari recognize them as, as naiads, um, the water equivalent of, mm-hmm. of dryads um however upon seeing you they all sort of smile softly and sweetly leon mutters oh i just like yeah i just like sit her and i smile it back galen just looks at leon and is like no this um... is weird <laughs> can i roll i'm perception? starstruck not even listening to both of them I would like to roll perception. Roll for it. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so sad. Okay, 14 plus 1. Leon, you narrow your eyes at these women, and um, one of them, a naiad, though you don't know this, she's sort of a she's an exceptionally beautiful young woman, like like all of these women. Um, she has pale blue skin and uh, freckles that sort of resemble fish scales along the bridge of her nose and the tops of her shoulders. She's got pure white hair, which she, she wears um, long and loose, and uh, a very pretty white dress that you are actually quite envious of. Um, mm-hmm. It's long, and the shoulders are bare, but the sleeves begin around her elbows, and they are long and flowing. Um, you need to make a wisdom saving throw, please, Leon. Mm, good. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah. You perceived oh, yeah. the unperceivable. <laughs> <laughs> How perceived dare you? something bad. Uh, that is 15 plus 116. Leon, the woman smiles at you, and any sense of foreboding you had is gone. Good. Awesome. Love that for me. She steps towards you. I was going to roll an arcana check next. Her hands extended, and it strikes you as a benevolent, kind-hearted 
gesture. She greets you gently and says, Hello, traveler. My name is Sirisea. I am the, the lady of this island. How may I address you? And she gently takes your hands in hers and presses a soft kiss to each one of them. Um, Leon says, I'm Lady Leon LaBelle. Um, thank you for the warm welcome. Of course, my lady. And next she turns to your party members, both of whom have to make wisdom saving throws. Okay. Is the ocean visible? <laughs> You're on a beach, Darren! <laughs> I mean, I don't know how far we in we went to the island. Uh, <laughs> Shit, that's an eight. Three plus oh. two, five. Oh, no. Well, that tracks. All right, Ari, you, the woman turns to you and your heart begins to race. She is the mm -hmm. most ethereally beautiful woman you've ever met. Her smile... Mm -hmm makes you feel like you're made out of butter. You are just melting. She reaches for your hand as she reached for Leon's, um, as if as if to take it. Mm -hmm. And she says, my dear, what is your name? Uh, should I have to take a second to remember my name? I'm like, <laughs> Ari. Ari, that is such a lovely name and she sort of takes your hand gently and presses it to her lips and I like I stumble like a step forward I'm like wait don't let go of my hand <laughs> <laughs> Galen <sighs> this woman oh, no. is enchanting <sighs> you could never distrust a woman like this I prefer the color <laughs> pink <laughs> 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 As she makes eye contact with you, you forget just for the briefest of moments that there is someone waiting for you and you could see yourself burning down villages and murdering babies for this woman. Oh, that's so fucked. <laughs> <laughs> and she says, and you? Uh, uh, my name's Galen. It is so wonderful to meet you, Galen. And she know, sort right? of, like, smiles at you and she goes, It is always wonderful to meet the brethren of the ocean. Before turning to the group and smiling broadly. Oh, God. What has brought you to to our island, travelers? Um, Leon says, We are... Wondering if you know anything about the still waters ahead of us. The still waters? And she sort of like blinks and you think there is no way this woman could know anything about it. She seems so innocent. Mm -hmm. Damn it. Um, <laughs> and I pipe up and go, also our friend is ill. And we thought... We'd give them uh, uh, both a break and maybe some help. The woman sort of steps closer to Galen and like narrows her eyes and she's like, he seems fine to me and lays a hand on his cheek as if checking for a fever. Okay. <laughs> and I chuckle and I go, oh no, no, um, our friend is on our boat. They couldn't uh, come, they stayed in bed. Oh, well, we do have quite the skilled healer here. Hang on. And she turns and gestures to one of the girls. Um, a young elven woman steps forward. Uh, she has sort of dark skin and, and equally dark hair, but her eyes are, are a crystal clear amber. Um, she takes your hand, Ari, and she says, May I take your boat to see your friend? Oh, it's not mine. And I, like, look over at Galen. Uh. I just have to agree, don't I? Uh. Yep. Yeah. yeah. yeah we don't do. have much of a choice. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Even the if woman, it's an objective. We're all. Yeah. 
mm-hmm. curtsies okay. and uh, gets in the rowboat and paddles almost impassive, impossibly fast out to the boat. Um, Sirisea turns her attention back to all of you and she says, You must be hungry from your travels. Oh, our friend is a wonderful cook. I don't think we'll be hungry as long as we're Please, with her. Please, I insist you allow us to cook for you. Oh. Uh, okay. Leon sure. is like, okay, yeah. Um, Leon not wanting to like, even like to this day, like her roots, she's a noble. She's like, it would be rude to not allow it. Mm. So absolutely, without question. We would love that. Seriously, I am just very much starstruck. <laughs> Seriously, it takes Leon's hand and uh, leads her and the rest of the party um, in the direction of, of one of the huts. As you approach, perception check. Oh man, rolling today is fucking shitty for me. Especially because I keep rolling really well and then I have to roll again. 6 plus 5, okay. 11. Uh, that I is... rolled a double 20, that's 24. Oh my god. It uh... was a nat 20? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, That is uh, 14 plus 1 for me. Alright, so we're going to start with Ari. Ari, um... As you are watch- walking, Sirisea reaches back her other hand mm. for yours, and you are just utterly enraptured by how soft her hand is. It is so soft. Mm-hmm. It is so smooth. You could hold this hand forever. Oh my god, you literally have no, no thoughts except for this no. hand. Oh my no god. Had you are so gay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Leon. I, no, I, I, I will tell you my thought, okay? Okay. Pre- pretty girl hold hand <laughs> uh leon you um you sort of notice that as you grow closer to this hut the sound of songbirds grows a little louder, but certainly not loud enough to drown out the whispers that you're hearing. Mm-hmm. Galen, you rolled a nat 20. Mm-hmm. Galen, you are sort of trailing behind. You find that when Siriusea is not making such solid eye contact with you, it's much easier to resist her sort of charms, so we, shall we say. Uh, Mm -hmm. And you are able to sort of take in the rest of the island and experience a little bit of guilt for maybe some less than savory thoughts you had only moments before. Mm -hmm. Uh, However, your attention is drawn to the roof of the hut to which you are heading. On top of it, you notice songbirds. And as you grow closer, their song grows more frenzied almost like a warning and yet Mm. you find yourself unable to pull yourself away from Circea's influence as she leads you into the hut Galen casts message no I'm just kidding (laughs) I was like Galen doesn't have a message (laughs) Um, you all follow Circea into this hut and it is much larger on the inside than it appeared from the outside. There is surely some sort of magic at play. Um, The inside of of this hut has several beds made of um, beautiful twisting driftwood. It appears to be topped with down mattresses. But at one end of the hut is um, a hole in the roof to allow for a campfire, which is burning and over which is cooking a food you cannot identify, but is the most delicious smelling food you have ever experienced. So Leon is charmed, I'm assuming. Oh, you're all charmed. Oh yeah. Yeah. And it's but it's, can I it's still roll charm. a mad can I like can I roll an arcana check? 
Yes, however, okay. the way that Fae Charm works, okay. um, anything that the person who charms you does is read by you in the most favorable and best way possible. Okay. So, regardless of what you roll, I'm going to spin whatever you <laughs> hear in the best way possible. Okay. Okay. I'm still going to roll Arcana, as I just think that would <laughs> make a logical sense, although I don't necessarily think Do that's I... going to be good enough. Um, oh, never mind. It's a 7 plus 5, 12. Uh, you notice that magic has been used to make the room bigger. Um, and... Uh... Wow, there's a pretty lady holding your hand. Okay. <laughs> That's... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate it. Um... Leon looks to, um lady and says how long have you resided on this island she sort of smiles sweetly at you and she says oh hundreds of years this island has a power shall we say and those of us who live here who have the gift such as yourself, my dear. And she sort of um, squeezes your hand gently and looks at you through through lowered eyelashes. Oh my god. Those of us who have the gift are able to channel it. If you were so inclined, you would too be able to make use of this and spend eternity with us. And it strikes you as an incredibly flattering and kind-hearted introduction. In I'm sorry, uh, invitation. Okay. Leona's like, oh, um, wow, that sounds just very interesting. Um, I mean, obviously she's still got the voice in her head that's telling her to do something very different. Though she's trying to, like, gently tell this lady, like, no, heart emoji. Um, <laughs> um, so she's kind of like, that is, that sounds so lovely. Um, did you all come to this island together? How often do you get guests? Oh, no, my dear. We arrived one at a time, as friends often meet each other. And, well, when we have guests, we... We try to offer them the gift of staying here. Of course, and she sort of looks back to, to Galen and- Galen looks at the ground. There's like mm -hmm. something that, that flashes in her eyes and she says, mm -hmm. <clears throat> of course there are, and then she sort of, her eyes pass to Ari and she, she narrows her eyes. Certain prerequisites. We look for, and then she turns back to you and her smile softens again. For those who wish to stay. Um, does Leon kind of put two and two together here? Mm, you notice that there is a trait that you have that they do not have, yeah. but you don't find it insulting that one would be required to have this no, trait. No, definitely not. Mm -hmm. um, so Leon says, Oh, that's lovely. So you all, all of everyone, all of your friends, they all, they all arrived with others, right? She sort of smiles and blinks at you for a moment and she goes, just as you have, my dear. Um, and Leon kind of smiles back and says, God. Um... And I assume they had to leave through the still waters, right? Oh, well. When they were leaving their friend behind. 
I wouldn't say leaving them behind. I would say that oh, some choose to stay and they were some have reasons for leaving. And she sort of smiles sweetly at you and then ever so subtly um looks back to the other two with a less sweet expression on her face. Um uh 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 Leon 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 kind of uh smiles and says um how long will I'm obviously very worried about my friend. Um how long will your healer be? I'm anxious for an update. She was so unwell when we left. Oh, not not long at all. But my dear, I'm sure you and your friends are hungry, please. Well, we wait. The food here is just divine. Mhm. I'm sure it is. Oh yeah. Okay. How can I not? <laughs> I just, I just go because I don't want to. I, I don't want to upset the beautiful lady. I just go like, I did eat a, on the boat, but yes, uh, anything. The woman now turns to you, Ari, and places a hand on your face, gently running her thumb <laughs> along your jaw, and she says, "Oh, but uh, the food here is so much more exceptional than." Whatever rations you have on your boat, please. It'd make me so happy. Well, I... I would not never want to be rude. Of course you wouldn't, dear. And then she turns to Galen and, uh... tilts his chin down so that it's looking at her. God so that he can look her directly in the eyes and says, And you? Surely a handsome man like you gets hungry. Uh, <laughs> I, I... Gail is like trying to find any excuse to not <laughs> look at this person. Uh, I, I don't think I have an appetite, but thank you though. That sounds lovely. I'm sure the other two will uh, yeah. love that. I go and turn. If the food is uh, really that wonderful, I, I'm, I, I look to Leon anxious to get Chris here too. She would really love it, don't you think? Oh, don't worry about your friend. She'll be fine, my dear. Now, please. And she sort of. Oh, but she really loves food. And at this point, she takes your hand again in her so soft hand, and then takes her other hand and once again sets it on your cheek gently to make eye contact with you and says, please, dear, the food here is just delightful. And she sort of um, portions off some food for each of you, ignoring Galen's very obvious rejection of the offer and, and mm -hmm. hands it to you, smiling sweetly. I. Just, I like nod at her and, and I go ahead. I eat whatever it is she gave me. And can I roll an arcana check on the food, please? Oh yeah, you can. Okay. Fucking Christ, I'm so stressed out right I'm now. I'm just still going off my five. I'm like, I am in this. <laughs> okay, that's eleven plus five, sixteen. This food has certain magical properties, but none of them strike you as sinister. And actually, once you think about it, this woman does seem to have your best intentions in mind. She seems very set on, on having you join her. If anything, this food will probably invigorate you. Oh, Jenny, no. <laughs> oh, no, Jenny. Oh, no, Jenny. <laughs> okay, um, well, I guess Leon takes a bite. Um, despite the brain of Victoria, um, yeah, same. the brain of Leon says, yeah, let's, let's take a little bite, baby. Leon and let's Ari, go. you both take mm -hmm. bites, and it is by far the most amazing food you have ever tasted. This knocks those pastries you had just yesterday out of the Travis's park. chicken? It's better than Travis's chicken. 
it is sweet like honey and salty like the sea and melts in your mouth like honeycomb it is so delectable you find yourselves devouring it as quickly as you possibly can Mm -hmm. Circea smiles at you both and says no wasn't that delicious and I just blurred out I think that's the best thing I've ever eaten (laughs) I'm staring up at her Um, Leon ever the noble um, looks to her and says it was divine as you said Trust me when I say, I know divinity when I look at it. And then she turns to Galen and she says, please, just, just try it. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm okay, miss. I, I really am not one for seafaring. Yeah, I, yeah. Appetite is just not there. I really appreciate the offer, though. Galen, roll a deception check. With disadvantage. Oh no! Yeah. <laughs> and we're well, inside, well, so right, you can no way. longer see the ocean. Seventeen. She reaches out to your cheek and makes eye contact with you, and her eyes are incredibly persuasive, though this time there is some kind of fury behind them that was not there before, and she says, Oh, my dear. You and I benefit from the ocean in the same ways. You do not need to lie to me, dear one. And she takes a piece of the food and sets it on your tongue. Ma'am, I did not consent to this. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> she's <laughs> harassment he's, oh, he's gonna be pissed <laughs> he's gonna be pissed oh man I guess Galen just bites down <laughs> down it's the delicious. hatch and she smiles at you but the rage is still very apparent behind her eyes uh constitution saving throws okay for everyone for everyone okay even if magic cannot put you to sleep you have to roll a constitution oh, saving throw no! <laughs> oh, damn it jenny that's like my one skill suck it elves 16 plus oh. 2 18 16 plus 5 two. 21 14 plus 2 16 I'm so sorry, but you need no. 25. Oh my god. I got a 21. Oh, I still don't get it. Fuck my life. You all it's okay. are so suddenly sleep. exceptionally tired. Those beautiful beds are calling to you. Mm. Okay. Seriously, yeah. Looks to you and says, Oh, you must be so tired after your adventure. Uh, funny how that works. <laughs> Please feel um, free to make use of some of the beds here. And she stands and dusts her hand off and uh, actually just walks out of the hut, closing the door behind her. Is there anybody else in the hut besides us three? Roll a perception check. With disadvantage, okay. because you are now exhausted. Mm-hmm. Can I also roll a perception check? You have oh. double Is there dis- such thing as double disadvantage? <laughs> yes, there is. Okay. So I gotta roll three times, is what yep. you're telling me? Yeah. Eight. I'm not gonna bother. I just don't believe Ari, like, <laughs> nothing is wrong for them right now. <laughs> they just like, they just sit down on the bed. I'm just like, thinking about that, whatever they gave us. <laughs> I'm the Nine pretty girl. Neither of you sense anything wrong with this. You don't think that there's anyone in there, but uh, as you settle in bed, Galen, you begin to doze off, and you could swear 
that there's a songbird above you. A pink songbird. And it sings to you in a familiar yeah. voice. And says, You really should leave. And then you doze off. Uh. Rolled a dream. Okay. No what advantage, what? no disadvantage, just okay. rolled a dream. What, what is that? Am I doing that? Just a d20, everybody. Just a d20. Three. Ari, you dream of beautiful women. <laughs> they are standing waist deep in the ocean and gesturing to you and laughing. And they seem to think you are fascinating. <laughs> and it is just a really good dream. Oh, God. I rolled a 16. In the dream, in the dream, they think to themselves, I should... Ah. <laughs> Eventually, they're going to wake up and think, I should dream more often. I should fall asleep more often. <laughs> and they never sleep, so they don't dream. Galen, you're making yeah, a face. Yeah, true. 11. All right, Galen, you dream of the songbirds on the roof. They sing to you in the voice of your mother and B and they tell you to leave now or never Leon oh, oh no you dream of a man's voice uh -huh. it whispers to you as always but now it tells you, my daughter, my beloved, they will try to steal you from me, from your fate. Oh, wow. From the world that is yours to rule. You must destroy them and leave okay. none standing. The dream ends, and, and this the sound is the kind and loving voice of songbirds. <laughs> Leon, you sit up immediately in bed, wide awake, and look to your party members. Galen and Ari, Constitution saving throws. Shit. <sighs> Thirteen. Thirteen. That actually makes it very easy for me. Thank you. Uh, Leon, you look first to Ariadne, and uh, you notice that they are tucked into bed, as if someone has tucked them in. One of their arms is above the covers, and you can see along their forearm, feathers have begun to grow. Me. I knew it. You look to your other direction I can't remember which side Ari was on and uh, Galen's face has feathers where there was once a five o'clock shadow as you notice yeah. this the door swings open and the woman who left for the boat the night before enters or earlier enters, carrying what appears to be an unconscious halfling woman. We will be back <gasps> next week! No! Danny! How dare you? <laughs>